gold yesterday has bounced back from 1815 levels and achieved a high of 1834 levels before closing it at around 1824-25 levels and now trading again with a slight bearish bias at 1820. Now what to expect today from gold? Can we expect it to continue with the drop here? Can we expect it to breach the channel on the downside and move towards 1800? Or you can see that the bearishness is getting diminished so we can expect a reversal from here. Which position you should take in order to profit trading gold? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. We will start with the alt and move towards the daily charts and in the end I will give you the trading levels strategy to watch out for. Now let's have a closer look on the early chart. See I have drawn this channel yesterday. Precisely it is respected. Bouncing back from the bottom we have seen this retracement. Now see prices were divergent from the 20 period moving average and now the 20 period moving average sitting at 1825 giving it a very very strong resistance. Let me show you with more closer look here. You can find out 20 period moving average coming down and all the candles so far is respecting these levels here. Thus I will recommend if you see the price is staying above 1826. You can buy but then be careful of 1830-32 zone. Very very strong resistance is there and once it stays above 1832 we can look forward to 36 and 40 as the two major resistances on the upside. That is the first part. This is only regarding the upside. Now we will talk about the downside here. Uh, but first have a further detailed look. See stock stick is looking down. MACD has retraced and it is now willing to converge crossover. It is not yet crossed over. It is still in green. RSI has also come out of the oversold zone trading comfortable. Likewise on the 2 hour charts we have noted that price is divergent from the 20 period converge and again converge. Now same observation here after converging towards the 20 period precisely we have seen this retracement happening. And right now if you look at see 28 levels here also the divergence of the moving average is too much but yes it can continue further we have to observe a little more the possibility of it yielding higher highs higher lows exist we have to watch out how it behaves at around 18 18 levels if it drops below 18 18 we can sell again for 18 14 and then 18 10 very very strong support at 18 10 this is the bottom of the channel which is right now can give gold a good support at 1810 levels and that is why I mentioned yesterday that 1808-1814 levels are going to remain a very strong support for gold for this week. Now let's have a look here. See stock stick has dropped here. MACD first wave, second wave, third wave. Now see this wave if it crosses beyond this you can say that it is trying to retrace further and possibility of a further rise exists and hence we may look forward to 3640 levels also. RSI coming out of the oversold zone, coming to 3 hour. Same observation on the 3 hour charts as well. Divergence, convergence, divergence, convergence. And if you look at right now, what is happening right now, see a good swing is seen and it is coming out of this retracement channel also. So, this is something you should watch out for. Any move above 1826, certainly we can expect a rise again. We can look forward to uh, 1832. 1830 32 levels at the first resistance zone then 36 and then 40 levels also can be seen here now see uh, one more point to note here is the divergence of the moving prices from the moving average and the divergence in the moving averages these two are also equally important because see too much of divergence calls for a little conversion in prices and that is what is happening right now yes it is still staying bearish however however a little retracement cannot be denied be watchful the stock stick has dropped here MACD has crossed over at the bottom trading with little divergence, trading with slight bullishness. I had shared one thing yesterday that this crossover, this uh, MACD is sitting at extreme bottom levels and we have also seen the historical trend that minus 15 is certainly a very high level for uh, on MACD and hence the possibility of a retracement exists strong. But it does not mean that now see this time when gold has seen a rally, MACD has achieved plus 20. So yes, in fact, it can go to minus 20 as well. But right now, because the drop was sharper, possibility of a little recovery exists and hence we have seen a rise here. RSI is also staying oversold. See, double bottom on RSI possibly calls for a little retracement. If you look at 4 hour charts, now look at 4 hour charts. See, 3 retracement candles, then again a drop here. Now again, forming higher lows, it is trying to bounce back. Remember, the prices are still divergent from the 20 period moving average. On the 4 hour charts, right now sitting at around close to 1838 40 levels, which is definitely a greater resistance. 
Hence, above 1825-26 zone, certainly little bullishness may, and this calls for a probable rise, a slight retracement on the upside towards 36-38 levels. In fact, 40 levels cannot be denied here. But you have to be cautious. This is still to be treated as a retracement, not a reversal. Also, one must note that if you connect the lows and the highs, this zone at 1836 certainly can prove out to be a great gate resistance. What will happen here is the moving average will come down. The price may retrace towards moving average. And in fact, if it has it is bearish, it can retrace again from the same levels here. So, yes, 1826 level should be a good entry point. But then again, with caution, the stop loss is very nearby at around 1820 levels these are going to be a great resistance zone and at the same time if you see it is staying below 1818 you have to stay short for 1814 1810 and then below 1810 188 levels certainly we are looking forward to 1800 as a major major support stock stick is looking downwards magd now see magd on the four hour charts after showing a sharp slump it is in fact breeze minus 15 levels and now trading with slight divergence slight bullishness possibility exists that it can try to retrace a little even if it is bearish and also likewise see it has gone closer to minus 20 and historically on the plus side also plus 20 was a rare occasion but it has seen a sharp slump there after achieving plus 20 and the same applies here it has seen a sharp slump here and now possibility of a little retracement exists RSI is still oversold and after forming the double bottom now trying to recover now if you look at the deal Look at the daily charts, all the candles closing outside Bollinger Bands, Bollinger Bands expanding sharply, moving averages now is starting to look downwards and this suggests that the rise is going to be, even if it tries to retrace, the retracement is going to be very minuscule with very modest bullish bias because see, it will wait for the moving average to come down somewhere here at around 1850-60 1850-60 levels, the prices might retrace towards those levels before looking forward to the down move here. Yes, a retracement is probably expected here at the same time one must look at see 1880 is the level this is also uh, the 20 period moving average this is also the double top levels the last week we have seen couple of candles precisely reversing from the same levels making it a stronger resistance now also one must note that the prices are too much divergent from the moving average what will happen in the coming few sessions it is the moving average will come down and the prices will retrace on the upside so also note that the last two candles here, one major bearish candle, one a swing candle with a very a small, a very small uh, red body here. This suggests that the prices failed to stay on the downside and have seen a recovery. Now this candle has started in red. If it stays below 1815, 1814 levels, certainly we are looking forward to 1810 and similar size of candle will be expected. Remember, similar size of red candle will be seen. Thus, if you take the charge, 1846 levels to 1830 28 level almost 18 dollars of move and if you count 18 dollars from here at 1824 it counts for two 1804 1806 zone so yes the probability is there however i will still expect a little retracement and a swing if not a retracement at least a swing can be expected the stock stick is still staying oversold the magd is divergent magd is bearish magd is looking downwards and MACD has a further scope for it to continue on the downside. RSI extremely oversold. Now, if you check the history of these levels, see, you will find that historically, almost in last three years, such lower levels on R, uh, RSI is not seen. And hence, this also calls for a probable recovery. In the last four or five years also, if you'll see, the levels are not such deep as what we are seeing today and hence these levels call for a little to summarize the observation yes a probable rise above 1826 can be expected again 1830 32 levels should be a good resistance then 36 and then 40 levels will come into picture as long as 1840 is respected there is uh, you can say lot much of resistance it will find and ultimately 1850 these two or three levels are going to remain an ultimate resistance or goal for this week we have to be watchful here. At the same time, on the downside, 1808-1814 levels on the daily charts are greater, greater support zone. You can see this was the previous bottom levels, which was seen almost six to seven months back. And it is again back to the same levels. And these levels are going to remain a great, great support for gold. There is one probability that after yielding higher lows, we can see a probable recovery. Also note that this is still the bottom of the channel is yet to be breezed it is still respecting the bottom here so probably a little retracement 
can be expected if it stays above 1826 while at the same time one must note that below 1818 you can sell and expect 1814 levels as the first support level and this is going to be a very strong support the complete zone between 1808 1814 is going to be a great support after 1814 the target is 1810 1808 zone and then below that we may see a sharper fall which may in fact take it towards 1800 take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss and yes if you want to learn this art of trading should join my mentorship by the 26 batch is going to start on 9th of october limited seats are available register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my singles channel reach out to me for more details at the same time before leaving the video just press the bell icon just press the like button and do comment share subscribe friends your every like comment share subscribe is a great inspiration motivation for me to deliver on time every time to the best of my abilities thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you